The way that GarageBand on the iPhone or the iPad manages volume is, shall we say, unique. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some tips for how to get the best volume settings in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And if you've been using GarageBand on iOS for any length of time, you've probably become quite frustrated with some of the volume settings. It doesn't work like other digital audio workstations. So in this video, I'm gonna jump in to GarageBand on my iPhone and give you some tips for managing gain or volume in GarageBand. Here we are in GarageBand on the iPhone. Now, to get to our volume controls, we slide across from the left here, and slide out our volume control panel. So we've got our drums, we've got a couple of guitars here, and at the moment, all of our volumes are at zero dB. Now, how do I know they're at zero dB? Well, because they're in the default position that GarageBand has them, so I can move them around. To get things back to zero dB, or what we call unity gain, we double tap on any of these volumes. So that's probably my number one tip for managing volumes is if you've put something somewhere, you don't want it to be there anymore, you can double tap to get it back to zero dB. Now, there are no volume markers on any of these volume sliders. So there's no way to know how many dB you are turning it up or down, but there's a little hack around this if you do wanna know that. So let's pretend we wanna drop these drums down a little bit, which we actually do. So we put them down and say we wanna take them down about four dB. If we drop them down to there, maybe that's four dB, we don't know. The way we can test is if we tap on it, tap automation, we can now actually see where this automation curve is at. Now it's a little bit of a trick, tricky hack to, to work through here, but we're gonna uh, tap here to turn on the automation, sorry, this one here, which is a little yellow line. And now if we tap and hold, there we are, it's minus 3.2 dB, we'll let go of that, and that's where our volume's at at the moment. So we can turn the automation back off again and go done. But if you wanted to know specifically how many dB you are reducing or increasing your sounds by, then that's a way to go. Let's say we wanna do the same here, we want this to go up maybe one dB, we'll turn it up like that, we'll tap, we'll tap again, we'll go automation, and then when we turn our automation on, and tap and hold on this line, there you go, 1.3 dB. So that's a quick and simple-ish way to see exactly how many dB of gain you are increasing or decreasing on an individual track. Okay, point number two, or question number two, and probably the biggest question I get is, where is my master fader? How do I turn the master volume up and down? Well, I mean, you can turn the volume of your audio like that on your headphones or your speaker, that's not gonna actually affect the sound at all. That's just the playback, that's the output volume. So actually controlling the overall volume is not possible. So even on the iPad, this is on the iPhone, even on the iPad where at the top here you will have an overall master fader, that will just show you your VU meter. So you'll be able to see what sort of um, sound level you're getting and whether you're clipping or whether you're too loud from that meter. Here on the iPhone, we don't have anything. So what can we do about it? Well, let's just drop our volumes down because I happen to know this track's quite loud. Uh, let's just play back this track now. So there you go. This is a, a track I recorded in a recent video about guitar recording. So you can check that out. I'll link that down in the description if you want to take a look at how to record some guitars. But the point I wanted to make here is that there's no real way to manage your overall volume except to ensure that each individual track is at a decent level. Now my recommendation in GarageBand is to have your overall volumes lower than you would think. It's much easier to add in gain than it is to try and reduce if you're clipping. And if you start layering up a bunch of different tracks like this and you've got them all sort of pumping up like here, then you're going to find that you're in the red really quickly, you're right up at that gain. Now, GarageBand does some funky things, uh, it does some auto-normalizing. So what that means is that when you've got your final track, it will automatically bring it up close to zero dB, which is both good if you didn't want to master your tracks, but bad if you do want to have some headroom for mastering. And we, we talk about that in some other videos, which I will link in the description as well. But the, the point here is that lower is generally better, especially when you've got multiple tracks. You've got eight, 16, 32 tracks. You don't want them all up here. You want the majority of them to be underneath zero dB so that collectively, you're not going to be clipping on the non-existent master button. So that's just some tips and advice for managing the individual track volume to make sure that your overall track volume is not going to be too high and you're going to clip your signal. 
A couple more quick tips while we're talking volume. So I have covered volume automation in significant detail in the past, but if you didn't know about that, you can actually turn on in the top left here, volume automation, you can tap and create some points. And then if you turn that off, you can actually reduce and increase the volume so that you can actually have the volume going up, you can have it coming down, you can make one section uh, very loud and then the next section can be right down so there's a lot of control you have over automation so yeah check out the videos on automation if you want to learn more about how to automate your volume but there's another way someone asked this during the week as well which is what if I wanted to have volume uh, louder in one section than another without using automation where well, we can actually use a clip gain for this so if we split our track here let's split this one here and let's say we wanted to just do this first section and make this a lot uh, quieter. Say we recorded this too loud, we can split it out there. And then if we tap on that particular section, tap again and go settings, we've got an individual gain slider up here. And this is something that I actually use sometimes on an entire track. So instead of using, actually that's a bad example, but let's use a, and as our drummer here, although we've got two sections. No, we'll use this guitar. We'll just have to turn off the automation first. So let's go to automation and uh, delete this. There we go. So I've taken the automation off of there. So if I have this whole track and it's one track here, if I set this to unity gain by double tapping to zero dB, and I want to actually take say, uh, or increase this by two dB, I can actually come into this setting and adjust my gain here. And this gives me a lot more control because I can actually dial in, if I can get it right, the actual amount that I want. So whilst my fader there is at zero, I know I've added two dB of gain in the actual clip, the audio clip here, and that's another way to adjust volume and to get more control over our volume and uh, our uh, volume automation here in GarageBand iOS. And one final little tip or trick or hack, because I know you folks love the little tricks here in GarageBand, and that is to use the EQ. So if we go into our plugins here, into plugins and EQ, here in the visual EQ, which I've already been playing around with on this track, you'll notice on the right hand side here, there is a gain dial. So we can actually dial the gain up and down on our EQ. So if you've, this is handy if you've done a bunch of automation and a bunch of clip gain, but you just still want the overall track volume to be a little bit quieter then coming in here, dropping it down is a really handy option. And in fact, you can even use that same function on an overall track on the master volume using a, a hack that uses the FX, so it uses this FX up here. And I'll link to that video because that's a, another very cool hack. If you want to adjust the entire volume of your whole track, you can use that trick to uh, use the FX track and the EQ to drop the master volume. So there you go. That is a quick crash course into every everything volume and gain here in GarageBand. So yes, it's not the greatest or most intuitive system for managing your gain and your volume, but with just a few little ideas and tips there, you'll be able to be creating good sounds and balancing out your volumes without too many hassles. If you'd like to provide any comments, questions, or suggestions about this or any other GarageBand or music creation topics, you can leave those down in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got two more videos linked right down below which you can check out right now or you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon, not out the window, but up there. And you can also head over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.